for you gentlemen out there, and I don't know, this there could be for ladies sure. too. Okay, 100%. breakthrough here for people dealing with hair loss. Dr. Stephen Goldman joining me with the details on this cutting edge procedure. And I think that there are a lot of people that would really want to tune into this right now because it has transformed so much, even over the last 10 years when you're talking about the way you do transplants. Yeah, so on the one hand, the newer technologies always let you advance any technique. And on the other hand, you still need, you know, good decision making, good, and good planning. good doctors behind those good, you know, new advancements. Good, good, good medical people helping make sure things stay safe and that the right decisions are made. So the advantage of this new technology, which is, it's not so new, but it's relatively new, called Neograft, is one, so this is for hair transplantation. When you take hair transplants, traditionally you're taking a strip of scalp from the back mm -hmm. of the head, from the mm -hmm. occiput, and that left a donor scar. So you'll see those pictures in like, magazines of celebrities at the beach with their donor scar they showing. They have that, that thick right. line that goes across the back of the head. So, so this, so this eliminates avoids that. a donor scar because you harvest individual hair follicle units, so basically little groupings of hair follicles from the back of the scalp where, where it used to be traditionally taken from but leaving a scar. Now there's no scar because you, you take out individual units. And then the other wow. advantage is basically that you then transplant individual hair follicles, which is what's being shown in that video. Mm -hmm. And by the way, this is awake, right? So, so you're awake. I was going. So I, the patients I, are awake. That, but you're, are you under some kind of? You're at least, so we give you're a, at least under pain meds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we give a little bit of oral sedation, mm -hmm. so something like Xanax, or and then a little bit of narcotics, something like Percocet or Vicodin. So basically, patients can't drive themselves, but you can see that guy talking to us while he's do, while while sure. he's having the procedure. So there's music, there's nice people in the room. So basically, it's a it's a relatively stress free experience. And, Look uh, at that difference. And the recovery, yeah. Even the recovery 10 split. days out. Well, so another, uh, we're doing various things in order to keep the hair follicles in. Once they're transplanted, traditionally, they, they would fall out initially until they started growing again. Now we do things like a, something called a PRP injection, platelet-rich plasma, other things which actually can keep the hair follicles staying and growing and in essence get less stressed by the transplant process. So again, there's no donor scar and by transplanting individual hair follicles, you get a more natural appearance. So none of that historical Barbie doll look, look that was so awful. It just awful. looks like little plugs almost, yeah. so to speak, like a Barbie doll. How long does it take? Normally. So it actually I guess takes it a few hours. Person. So it depends on how many follicles you transplant, but typically it might even be four hours, give or take, depending on how many on how many hair follicles are transplanted. Now I know you might even see people come into you that are in their 20s, young doing this. Yeah. Depending on what age range you're in. So planning is important, right? So if somebody does this in their late 20s as they start to get hair recession, you have to anticipate how their hair line will look 10 years, 20 years down the road. So one, you want to make sure, and you always do, you save follicles for more transplants if you wanted 20 years later. But two, you don't just put a dense line of hair follicles at the front of the for, you know, forehead that 10 years later will show more density than behind. So you make it, in essence, work in a fourth dimension in time. So you pattern the hair transplants to look good over time also. I think it's so fascinating it's that cool. this is able to be done. I think it changes men's lives. I mean, one about 15% of so the women, you kind of allude, 15% of the patients are women. Women can get hair loss as well. It's less common. And um, it's even more, I think, hard for them to handle that than, than a man sometimes. It, there's definitely more social stigma associated with a woman losing their hair. So it right? works the same way for men and women when you're doing this, the same type, same exact procedure. So it's the same procedure. There, there are obviously some planning differences, but the technical procedure itself, the transplant is the same. Also, women are more commonly going to do this in their eyebrows because many women have no eyebrows after plucking for years. You take it from your head yeah, and you put it into their eyebrows. Yes, yeah, so the only disadvantage is you have to trim that, but many people trim their eyebrows anyway. Um, and we, at our, at our facility, we also do things like microblading, which is a type of tattooing sure. for mm -hmm. the brows. So you might combine those procedures or somebody might get microblading, but over time want to do hair transplants or they do a hair transplant and supplement that with microblading. And the same is even true of, of, of hair loss on the scalp. We might try things like PRP or Propecia, medical treatments first, and if that doesn't work, then you progress to hair transplantation. But honestly, most of the time, by the, by the time somebody's coming to my office, they want to do something more definitive. They mm -hmm. want to do the hair transplantation. And so this can last 10, 20 years, you're saying? So it should, in essence, be permanent because the hair that you use from the back of the head is hair that even 
in a guy like me will not disappear over time, right? So that's permanent. That'll be there when somebody's 80 or 90. So those hairs, when they're transplanted, they'll last, you know, theoretically forever. But he still makes it look good, though, I think. So, hey. <laughs> to each his own, right? To each his that's own. Just, that's what cosmetic stuff is all about, right? Individualizing, doing the right thing for the right person in the right safe way. So people can come in, get a consult with you, and figure out what's the best plan moving forward as yeah, far as Yeah, what's that the goes. best plan for them and what's realistic, right? So, so some people may want... Uh, you know, may have very little hair, may want a full head, mm -hmm. they may have to come to a, a shorter sort of hairline than, than somebody who, who needs less, so to speak. So we, it's all about the planning. Very interesting topic there. Again, cool. he has two locations, brand new one that's on the east side, right off of Chagrin Boulevard there, and then the other one in Westlake. In Crocker Park. In Crocker so Beachwood, Park. Westlake. Thank you so much for coming. Always a pleasure to Thanks have that. you here in pleasure your purple. <laughs>